let's do some vlogging. Okay, I'm just coming back from a big track day. It's called King of QR, King of Queensland Raceway or Queen. Uh, big day, I didn't even make it through the day. I just, I was just too tired. And the other boys I was with we were just too tired. So pretty cool. A couple of the guys brought their new GR Corollas up. Um, good, uh, good review there, particularly from my uh, friend Ben, who he had uh, GR Yaris before and he had the one with the diffs as well as the base one um, and he goes he said look it'll be it's a bit slower because of the weight but longer wheelbase just a bit more comfortable a bit more room um, he said yeah it's he's gonna stick with that for a while and um, yeah needs some, he, he, totally stock went out on a totally stock um, stock tire stock everything stock suspension stock alignment uh, it's so awesome that it go out of the box pretty pretty easy. Now, you can hear I got some tire roar. Uh, I'm running Nankang AR1s on my M2. Uh, 245s in the front, 265s in the rear, and the 19s. And uh, yeah, I've had them on several cars. Good tire, they, they kind of, they don't really go off, they, but they don't have the maximum grip. So the CRS I found on the Porsche, I set personal best straight away as soon as I put them on. But uh, they would, they would, the uh, grip would wear off kind of through, through the day as they kind of heated up where the AR1s are consistent. Anyway, now let's talk about the M2. Sorry about the sun. M2 versus the Boxster S. Quite different cars, but they that was my last track car, my last toy. Um, I was driving up to the track, and my first thing, you know, I was halfway up. It's the longest drive I've done in this car because I haven't had it that long. And I immediately thought, you know what? This is not a Porsche. Uh, and you're like, duh. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it just doesn't it doesn't steer like it or feel like it. Um, let me walk that a bit better. It doesn't steer like it or feel like it. And yeah, it, but it's a different car. It's front engine, rear wheel drive. It's a sports coupe made into a sports car uh, for Porsche is a sports car from right from the start anyway that's kind of my take on it um, how did it go like the only we've got brake pads the tires and camber plates so it's got a pretty good pretty good amount of grip I started off with way too low a pressure I went out it's very cold this morning uh, it was three degrees now for Australia that's bloody cold so middle of winter right now three degrees track was obviously cold aired down like I normally would put these you know I've had these on other cars you should run them at about 32 hot um, aired them down and yeah they, they just didn't really come up to temperature and then when they did I was running at 30 around 32 it just felt it didn't feel right it just felt horrible like it was just moving around a bit and just not very nice um, tire pressure warnings went off it made, when that happens in this car, by the way, if your tire pressure warning goes off, uh, that you've got too low a tire pressure, you, it basically goes straight back into comfort mode and then winds on traction control and it wasn't very pleasant. So then you have to do the reset and the reset's a bit of a pain in the butt. You kind of got to go through a, a few steps and then a bit of a, a little bit of a drive and then you gotta let it sit and it'll reset the pressures. Anyway, after all that, Talked to one of the other boys who's got an M2 and his buddy's got a Supra and both of them said AR1s on their cars, 36, 36, 36, 36, all day long. They played with it a lot. They got the, they figured it out. I was like, fine, not going to get any worse. I can always dump the air out again. So put them up to 36, went out, bam, awesome, fantastic. Heaps of grip, a lot of confidence. Car didn't feel like it was trying to kill me every two seconds. Um, and I was able to run also in Sport Plus. And in Sport Plus on my car, I've had the uh, Club Sport steering uh, activated through the through some, a tuner. And he also did the M4 GTS diff setting. So, I mean, I don't know the non-M4 GTS diff setting, but it is supposed to be aggressive and locking and really just plenty of grip. And yeah, out of corners, floor it. I mean, this, this car isn't tuned, stock power, but I can floor it out of corners and obviously comfort traction control but sport traction control would kick in and it would really wind back power and just feel like oh it's just holding back holding back holding back traction control light flashing even though it didn't feel like it was losing grip uh, and 
put out in Sport Plus, it was just like mechanical grip uh, that I like. You know, the Boxster was a very raw car, it's old, it had wide tires on it. I had, at the end, I had two 5.5 fronts, two 8.5 rears, so wider than I'm running on this car. Uh, it's not as obviously as raw as that, but it was a comfortable drive up. I didn't freeze my ass off. I could talk, bring the boys that we were driving up with. We could talk uh, hands free, I, uh, and I've got CarPlay, and I, mean, I could put that in the box here, but it, it was just noisy and loud and stuff. So it's a much more comfortable car, but that's not what we're talking about. Um, our big corner, the main big corner on this track uh, for all layouts, turn one. It's a massive one coming right off the straight. And I didn't look to check the speed very often because I had the little automatic, the little digital one set on. You hear the Project Mew brake squealing a bit. Um, I had it set on the oil temperature, so I, or I wasn't really keeping too much track of the speed, but when I, I later on changed it over, turn one, I was doing about 117 to 119 on the couple times I glanced at it. In the Porsche, without the power, but with grip and more balance, I was doing 130 consistently through that corner. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it feels like it's got a lot more roll, and it would because the Boxster had sway bars and everything with spherical bearings and coilovers where this is the only mod suspension work on this is camera plates up front and adjustable toe arms in the rear which are spherical bearings so that would help a bit now one thing that really I know it's a problem with these cars and I've read a heap about it uh, and I gotta heap right I gotta work out how to, to tame it I gotta do some research talk to this, some others and people is the sorry I got some carved road here on the highway so it's a bit noisy um, the super hard braking like you know activate ABS that hard you'd be flashing lights which I turned off by the way with being my code um, super you know that really hard braking the back end squirms around a lot so the front end is nice goes but it's just I think it's the balance because of the softer spring rates it's not keeping a lot of traction on the rear I don't know if you know tell me um, but yeah, it was, it was braking hard and the back end really felt like it was moving. I mean, I'm like moving, you know, 10, 15 centimeters either way, sliding around where the front was planted. It's just going, oh. So obviously hard, hard braking had to be in that dead straight line. Trail braking in wasn't too bad, but it was a lot of movement in the back end. So I do have a camber arm bushing uh, I got to put in the back. Um, but if, yeah, if there's other stuff you suggest to, uh, anyone suggests to kind of get rid of that, I, I, I think it might be solved by going to, well, put that bushing in for starters, but to put in some st uh, stiffer sp spring rated coilovers where we don't get that much weight transfer, so it keeps it a lot flatter. So I think that's going to be in the cars, but I don't know. Even, so it was driving well, still I was going, you know, should I have bought a Cayman or a 987 Boxster S or even the 981 Boxster S or a Cayman S um, or even a 718? I mean, I test drove a 718 before I bought this and it was pretty cool on the 2 liter turbo. I was like, wow, there we go. All my, all my cars were 2 liter turbo for the longest time. And you can tune it, get power, still a bit more money, but dedicated sports car. This is just a sports car for me, not a not a daily. I don't know. Uh, comment. I don't ever say that comment, but comment on that and tell me what you think. Whether I can tame the M2 because it's awesome. Like the potential. I can feel the the Boxster was pretty maxed. I could probably get a little bit more out of it just for having bigger balls and going deeper in the corners. But it was pretty much where it was. This has so much potential to go very fast, as we've seen. You know the guys who work their M2s and do track car builds are just insane they, you know they're up there with up there with 911 GT3s but do I want to do that with this car no it's got so slow K's I just want to do a little bit of suspension work um, yeah comment below what should I, what, what, what's the plan here I don't want to sell it right now but you know I can it's it's just some it's it's just a car I can always sell it um, police reported ahead Oh, thank you, Don't Siri. Don't distract you from the joy of the journey. Thank you, Siri. I'll uh, I'll keep I'll slow down. I'm 
Jones cruising along on in a 110 kilometer an hour zone doing from zero to 40, so it's pretty slow. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, I'm gonna go home, it's been a long day. I'm gonna wash this thing, have a beer, and watch some uh, Formula One. Cool, thanks.